Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Today we're going to be talking about seeing and believing. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we ask today that you would strengthen us in areas where our faith in you is weak as we read your word today. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, just so you know, I'd like for you guys to go and read this passage Take time to just soak in what this passage is saying. Matthew 14, 22 through 33 will be the focus of our message today. <clears throat> so go and read that and then come back and uh, we'll hit the reflection time of our video. <clears throat> so how can we reflect on this passage today? I once saw a television interview with an actor from the movie The Da Vinci Code. In response to the criticism from the Christians that the movie made untrue statements about Jesus, the actor said this, Well, I've always felt that the Bible should also include a disclaimer. A man walking on water, he said squinting one eye and tilting his head, come on. But just because we haven't seen something doesn't mean that it couldn't be true. Peter had never seen a man walking on water either. It might have been a mirage or a ghost or something worse. Still, he stepped out of the boat and made his way towards Jesus. That's the essence of faith. The willingness to move forward, trusting God, even when the way is unclear. I wonder what Peter felt in the moment when he realized that he was sinking into the raging waters in verse 30. Embarrassment, panic, fear, probably all of that. Now try to imagine Peter's emotions when he felt the strong grip of Jesus on his arm, as he, we see in verse 31. That was the moment he was sure it was no ghost. In verse 26, once Peter was safely back in the boat, there was no need to quibble about whether this man could walk on water or not. I read about a guy who had faced a situation that scared the daylights out of him. He was inadvertently drawn into a financial scam that threatened to wipe him and his family out. During those days, he had typed the words, Jesus said to his disciples on a piece of paper and taped it next to his computer. Whenever he felt fearful, he'd look at those words and say them aloud, take courage. It is I, do not be afraid, as we see in verse 27 of our passage. In doing so, this guy learned the lesson Peter learned from the middle of the lake. Calling out to Jesus is the best way to uh, overcome fear. So how can we respond to the actor who wouldn't believe that Jesus walked on water? All I can say is this. I know Jesus has saved me and I've experienced his ability to take away my fear. So it does not seem so unbelievable that he could also walk on water. And I don't need to see it to believe it. So how can we apply this lesson to us today? In what area of your life do you need to move forward in faith even though the way seems unclear? And how can you do so? So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we just want to spend a few min minutes talking to you and thanking you and praising you. But we want to ask, Father, that you strengthen our areas where we're weak in our faith and help us to step out in faith more. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.